Santa baby A drop top C-O-K-2 Light blue Hey dolls, it's your girl Miss Kyra85 and today I'm coming to you with a video called Why My Relaxed Hair Isn't Growing and This Is What's Working For Me. So way back, I don't know how many months ago, I did a video on a bunch of my favorite growing oils. So black castor oil, almond oil, almond oil, um, just a bunch of great oils, natural oils. And today I am telling you what has worked for me, which are the oils. I have um, basically just kind of stopped relaxing my hair and just have been moisturizing with my Cantu Shea Butter, in which I'll insert a, a picture of it here if it's not already, and also my oils. I've just been doing that consistently and my hair has been growing like weeds. So what I'm gonna do is talk to you about how often I've been doing this and then show you where my hair is now. So Maybe once a month I'll get water and just run it on my scalp and just kind of run my fingers down my cornrows, which I have underneath this wig, and just to kind of just get some of the oil out. Um, but other than that, I have not been using any shampoo or any conditioner on my hair at all, and my hair looks and feels great. Now, Again, going back um, to the oils, I get my oil, in which is not that much of it, but I still have a bunch in its containers. I get my black castor oil. I will link that video. It should cross the screen, pop up now. Um, of all my favorite oils, I put into one um, container, and I literally just go throughout the, my braids. I'll put it on my scalp, or if I'm trying to go ahead and just rebraid my hair, I will take down the braids, each braid, you know, again on my own leisure, and go ahead and just get the oil, put it on my scalp, and then put it on my hair itself, so finger comb it, braid it back up, make sure I put moisturized um, and oil the ends of my hair, and then I am done. Now I do that every blue moon, so maybe once a month I'll do that, or sometimes it's even more than that because I just don't want to be in my hair. I felt and I am feeling like this journey is teaching me that the more manipulation that you have in your hair, whether it's natural or relaxed, the more breakage one is going to have. The more all these washing and conditionings and different types of routines people have, um, for me, the more it caused breakage for my hair because I was always in my hair. It, it almost felt like my hair was stressed. Um, the, the combs or brushes and things of that nature don't help. So what I have done was a low manipulation journey. That's what I'm on now. Um, no wash and no conditioning just to see how that goes with my hair, which it seems to be doing. It's, my hair seems like it's flourishing. Um, the oil, just putting oil and moisturizer on my hair. It's like my hair absolutely loves it. And finger combing. It's like my hair is just like, thank you, like you're listening. Um, I definitely feel like our hair talks to us and it lets us know what it likes, what it doesn't like, you know, what, you know, is okay. You know, it just, it's, it's always talking, are we listening is a question. So again, I'm done rambling. I'm gonna go ahead, take down my, um, take off the wig and show you what my hair is looking like underneath it. I'm gonna take down a braid, show you where my hair stops at, which it is extremely long. I've chopped it off or a couple inches, I wanna say two or three inches a couple months ago, and it is back to where it was and longer. Um, and I'm just, I'm happy, I'm very happy. I definitely will be doing a trim at some point of time in life, but I am at no rush to do anything because again, I am not in my hair. And again, wigs and braiding my hair down it's helping the low manipulation not in your hair it is a huge help so this is my journey i think i have finally found what exactly works for me and i can say i'm extremely happy this is my skin i have absolutely positively not one ounce of makeup on so i just want to show you what i do what my skin looks like this is just in its natural state so again um I know people be like, you know, oh, that's nasty. You don't wash your hair. Oh, this, that, and then the third. But like I said, for me, I rinse it with water and it's working for me. I don't have any bumps, you know, on my face. I don't have any bumps, you know, in my hair. I just, if I have any type of buildup, I just go wash it out with the water and then keep it moving. So other than that, you guys, I'm done rambling. Let's get into this video.
from this point on, I add oil. You can put it on the palms of your hand or you can add it to the hair itself. Just a couple of drops and I make sure that I focus on my edges. Definitely because this is a growing oil, we're trying to get them edges, honey. And then I also make sure that I put it on the strands of my hair as well. <clears throat> Don't forget your kitchen area. Um, and as I'm doing this, you guys, if you know me, you know my videos, I always talk about how I use oil to detangle. And what I mean by that is allowing the oil to go down the hair strands and then go throughout each hair strand, if you can, as much as possible, and just pull on the hair as it is, um, as you're going down the hair strand or hair strand, um, each hair strand. So that's how much hair I have as of now. And I focus on the ends of my hair as well. Just rubbing that oil on the ends. Don't forget about the ends, honey. Still have some hair that's coming. And you'll know the difference between shedded hair and breakage. Breakage is small pieces of hair. It will not have like the little white bulb on the end of it. Um, if you have the white bulb on it, that means that it is shedded hair uh, because it's coming directly from the scalp. Where it's a breakage, it's just small different shapes, different sizes of hair that is breaking from you know the hair strand. Usually that's tension that can be causing that or imbalance of the um, protein or moisturizer in the hair. There can be all types of um, reasons for that. Diet plays a huge part in it as well. I do not put my moisturizer on until either um, once I'm done finger combing because I feel like when I put the moisturizer on that it causes my hair to kind of revert um, and which obviously I know I'm relaxed but parts of my hair are also um, because I haven't had a relaxer and God knows when um, part of my hair is natural so I don't like really using that too often um, or too much of it I really use a small amount of it because I don't really want my hair to be kinky I'm just really trying to get through um, trying to braid it but if I put that on then it causes a lot of um, reverting so and literally I mean I've had my hair braided like this for months I mean literally almost Jeez, I start relaxing in May of this year. So you do the math, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, was that seven, eight months? Uh, Y'all, it's real. And honestly speaking that, I mean, honestly speaking for real, like I'm going into New Year's and I don't have any plans of relaxing my hair again. Um, am I going natural? I think I've answered that question several times before. I don't know what I'm going. All I know is I'm just going. I'm just on this journey, on this ride as to seeing how long my hair can get. I've had so many dreams about my hair being way down to my butt. So I know it's possible. I know that I'm going to get this journey going and I know that my hair is going to be healthy um, because that's what I want. Speaking it into existence and that's just, I don't know, like uh, our hair is our glory and I'm very happy to be able to learn about what the Lord has given me. So, I mean, my head is up <laughs> um, and this is where my hair lies. So, uh, if you can see, this is the end of my hair here. It's, oh my gosh, it's longer than I even remember it, you guys. My hair is longer than it has ever been. I'm gonna, Make sure my head is straight. <laughs> this is so crazy. Okay. And my hair is here. Get closer so you can see. My hair is here, you guys. <laughs> Trial and error has definitely worked. Um, my hypothesis has worked when it came down to Okay, I'm going to try to find an easier way of taking care of my hair. Um, I wonder if not washing and conditioning my hair with all of these products that our society pushes on us um, would help my hair grow. And my hair feels, God, I don't even know how to explain it. It feels soft. Like, it just feels soft. It feels soft, it feels normal like does that make even any sense it feels normal it doesn't feel like it's 
um, susceptible to breakage. It doesn't feel like it's um, brittle. It doesn't feel like it's too moisturized. It just feels normal like my hair used to feel, but it just feels so extra soft like it feels so soft I don't know how to explain it without me keep repeating myself it just feels so soft and it's so like long like I and this is just my my edge edges um my bang area stops like in the middle of my chest my um Different parts of my hair obviously stops at different parts of my body. My crown grows a lot. It's always a lot thicker. Um, but I am just so excited. If you guys want to see a video of me basically just going through you know, my hair and um, taking it down and showing you different lengths, then I can do that. What I'm not going to do though is to take all of my hair down because I don't do that just because it's gonna be so much to do like just imagining this section being all around my hair now is like so big and I am so happy so if you guys want a uh, there should it's no updated video because everything I'm using in that video in the past I'm still using I can try to do the video over if you're interested um, but can too I don't want to forget that I just get like I said a little 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 bit that much <laughs> And I rub on my hair itself, on my ends. Again, using the same method, trying to pull any shedded hair that may be. And, and then that's it. And like I said, I put this moisturizer on literally like maybe once um, a month, maybe, maybe twice a month. But majority of the times I'm putting oil on. Now what I will say is that if you are one that you know, sleeps on, you know, satin pills and things of that nature, you will have a little bit of oil that does seep out. So, you know, maybe get a towel or something, cause like the first, first I will say week is going to, some of that oil is going to seep out. But for me, I don't really wear a lot of um, scarves and things like that because I sleep on satin. Um, but you know, get in any type of hair um, wraps and things of that nature will help the hair not to get on your, your pillows and things. I'm done rambling, you guys. I'm done. I just want to show you guys the length of your hair. My hair. Not your hair. My hair. <laughs> um, that is it. I am so happy with my progress. And yeah. If you guys have any questions, make sure you listen down below. Subscribe, like, and comment. You know that good jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know what that video will be, but if you like the video, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye.